Good. Thank you. Wow. Did you guys see Taizo's shoes? He has the coolest shoes on. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're like magical. They're like all kinds of colors. Yeah, it reacts on the motion. It yeah. has a motion sensor, and uh, uh, we can change the, uh, the colors with the smartphone app. Really? Yeah. Wow. Right. Because when, so I, when I first saw his shoes this morning, I wasn't sure if the shoes were glowing or whether I just stayed out too late last night. <laughs> well, um, well, Taizo, it's really great to get a chance to talk to you here. It's my pleasure. Uh, especially, this is actually your show. I don't know if everybody knows, but uh, the reason Slush Tokyo is here is because of you, right? No, I'm just one of the members. Uh, I think one. you were probably one of the most important members. So, uh, yeah, this is the third year. That's and, great. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, the, the scale bigger, uh, larger, and uh, better, and so on, the qu uh, quality-wise and quantity-wise. And uh, uh, well, surprisingly, all the events driven by the volunteers, uh, yeah. the students it's and young people. It's kind of unique to have an event that's just run solely by volunteers. Right. So that such movement has taken off completely in Japan Great. in these days. Very good. Well, congratulations. So what's, uh, what's new and happening in Japan these days? Um, <clears throat> um, I'm keep on watching um, and monitoring and supporting the Japanese ecosystem, startup Great. ecosystem. And uh, uh, the, it's getting better and better in these days, especially yeah. for the last two or three years. Yeah. Uh, and last, I, I read the article that last year, uh, uh, number, uh, the volume of the, the venture funds investment mm. in, a, in, a, in a year Right. Uh, it was a record high in the That's Japanese great. history. Yeah, it seems like, you know, for a country maybe as large and advanced as Japan, there hasn't been a lot of venture capital in the area right. historically, but that seems to be changing a lot just in the last few years. Right. And finally, uh, Japanese big companies, establishments mm. like uh, Toyota or the Sony, mm. so those kind of, even the Japan Railways or the, even the Subway Metro Company, yeah. so they started the seed accelerator. A seed accelerator for the Japan Rail Company? For, yeah, for, okay. so they will supply, uh, they provide their resources, for example, that they, the startup can utilize uh, the, their in, uh, installments or the facilities, uh, infrastructure, and hey, why don't you guys hack our resources? <laughs> so that, in a good uh, way, that's we very hope. interesting, yeah. yeah. So do you think it's uh, good that all these corporations and lots and lots of governments and other people are trying to get into startups now? It seems like everybody's got their own accelerator, everybody's got their seed program. Is that, is that a good thing, you think? Yeah, I think it's a really good thing, for, okay. in my opinion. And is that something that's easy for them? Because I think maybe a lot of Japanese companies aren't always uh, the fastest or the most open to change. Yeah. Uh, it seems like that's almost like a clash of culture sometimes. Right. So um, um, the, the adv uh, advanced countries like a Recruit mm -hmm. or the, uh, the Sony and those kind of guys, uh, they uh, created the, their innovat innovation center or the seed accelerator uh -huh. outside their headquarter. Okay. For example, Shibuya or the Rupongi okay. and so on. And uh, <clears throat> so the, the organizers is a ver still very young guy right. of, the, of the company. So uh, the, the culture is totally different from the, the existing traditional headquarters. Okay. So that's why I'm, I can see that some uh, the incubators or the acid accelerators uh, driven by the big company uh, working well. Hmm. So you've uh, you spent a lot of the last few years starting uh, a company called Mistletoe. Yes. Maybe can you explain a little bit about what Mistletoe does? And is it a venture capital firm? Is it a startup? Something in between? Good questions, thank you. Um, um, just last yesterday, uh, I just announced on this stage that uh, we have invested to the Estonian company called Funderbeam. Funderbeam. Yeah, and the Funderbeam is uh, the platform for the startup uh, for for ra fundraising okay. uh, the using the blockchain technology. So, so, so blockchain that, with startup investing. Right. So so that uh, the any kind of individuals can participate in a startup funding in oh. a seed stage, angel stage, and so on. Okay, that's really cool. And uh, uh, especially miss for Misuto, uh, the that alliance is mm. very, very important for us. Right. Because, um, so, you know, th th this kind of platform is a very, very great infrastructure for, for the startup. 
okay. to grow faster and bigger. So um, uh, we are not just a traditional venture capital, but uh, uh, of course uh, we, we will invest some money, uh, okay. some amount of money to the startups, but uh, it's a kind, uh, the context is a very, very strategic. So my ultimate goal is uh, uh, creating a startup ecosystem in Asia, uh, like a Silicon Valley. So uh, we are now uh, investing in, the, in very strategically to the part, potential part, uh, the partners mm. uh, who is contributing to create uh, the ecosystem infrastructure. And as part of the investments you make, you've also supported people in the community that are doing interesting work. So education is a big focus. And yeah. Maybe design and hardware also, right? right? So um, um, it, this is a just a kind of the real pure kind of philanthropy, mm. but uh, we are supporting the nonprofits uh, for the social entrepreneurs, uh, the, the entrepreneurs who are driving a nonprofit. Right. Or uh, the designers, uh, we are supporting uh, many designers to, to, to provide a chance, opportunities to design the actual products for right. the young, young designers and so, so on. Combining technology and hardware requires maybe a different type of design or different totally skills? Different, totally yeah. different. Okay. So, and uh, I'm, I'm also still learning. <laughs> and uh, uh, and I, I, I'm, for the last 20 years, I, I'm, I'm engaged in the software industry. So I have some knowledge about software, but the hardware is totally, completely different. Yeah, seems like it's a lot more challenging to combine software and hardware. It has different manufacturing schedule, yeah. different process for creation. Different process and the different skills of the skill sets of the people. Mm. So, uh, and we need an actual partner to manufacture, mm. for example. So, uh, the, and software can update anytime, right. any, in real time, but the hardware, it's very hard. Hardware is hard. Hardware is hard, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, um, we are now making a community. But mm. of course, uh, hardware is, if hardware is hardware, software is software, and it's totally discriminated, then uh, no innovation happens. Mm. So um, uh, mingle uh, all the people into one single community to create the innovative products or services. Got it. So that is the key. So. Um, so that's why I'm supporting a Slash uh, passionately, that because the Slash is one of the good uh, uh, the place to mingle and make a chemical reaction among so people. You seem like you're always on like cutting edge of like new stuff. I know, you know, way back you were one of the first people to get involved in mobile and then gaming, and now it sounds like IoT and yeah. blockchain is kind of a big interest area. Right. Um, are there things that you see coming over the horizon that are even more new? Are there new things that you want to focus on over the next few years? Yeah, um, for the last 20 years, uh, 20 years ago, I, I was focusing on a web, 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 web service, mm. like e-commerce or right. search engines and so on. And at the time, the terminals of the internet, it's uh, the desktop PC or something like that. Right. And uh, the, after that, broadband, revolution came and the, like YouTube or something like that, right. the web to the all comes. <laughs> and I was shifting from the e-commerce to the, those kind of new things. Yeah. The online game is one of the right. that great content. Seems like that, you've been uh, able to be right on top of the next change and next curve. Right. And uh, after that, the mobile internet came. Mm. So uh, I was focusing on the mobile apps and so right. on. So uh, the mobile game is also one of the great mm. things. But in these days, um, thanks to the IoT ma movement and also the makers movement, <laughs> right. uh, all the devices, uh, all, thing, all the things will be connected to the network. So um, um, in a sense, um, I'm so excited for the uh, last 20 years, yeah. uh, most excited er uh, period I'm facing on, that because uh, we can change the whole lifestyle of the people or right. the work style of the people, or the chains of the industry. So not just technology, but how technology fits into the rest of everyone's lifestyle. Right. So uh, uh, for the last 10 years, <laughs> I, I was focusing on a very te technical, technological things uh, to innovate the, the products and services. But on, in these days, um, I'm learning design, or the lifestyle, or the, uh, the big the learning a big company's culture 
I don't, uh, I don't think it sounds like you're doing much work. It sounds like you're having a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so because I love the, uh, the learning the unknown things. Right. So because I'm, I'm, I'm very curious, cur my, my uh, curiosity is very broad. So that's why um, now is the time for me, finally. So uh, <laughs> Misuto is not a venture capital, but uh, my own money, okay. principal investment. So uh, I don't have to worry about uh, limited partners of the fund. <laughs> so that's why, uh, I, uh, honestly speaking, uh, the run, uh, to be honest, um, if I lose money, it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you don't lose money, but it sounds like you are doing some really yeah, cool so, stuff. But more important thing is not, um, not the money, but uh, the how we can change the, our lifestyle to, for right. the better, uh, better directions. So, so that's the key, I think. I know you're spending some time now in Singapore. Yeah. And one of the things that we were talking about backstage, you were mentioning how Singapore has been pushing to make changes happen quickly for, yes. for legal structure and for companies to be able to innovate. Right. What's, uh, what do you think Japan and the US and other people can learn from Singapore? Um, in the US and Japan, uh, there are so many new cutting technology like uh, drones or autonomous vehicles and so on, right. using the AI and so on. But uh, unfortunately, um, those kind of new thing is because it's too new, uh, it's very difficult to adapt the existing transportation system or right. the infrastructure. Maybe it's slow to change because there's so much existing infrastructure. Right. So it's an innovator's dilemma. Mm. And uh, uh, also that there are so many regulations to, for the, uh, as the obstacles. Yeah. So um, I'm, especially in these days, I'm very uh, quick, uh, frequently going to Singapore to go back and forth to Japan, right. that um, uh, the Singapore is very quick to, quick to decide the change of regulations and laws. Seems like they if have very forward-thinking government very forward trying thinking to help uh, technology small. grow. Yeah, for such a small country, actually, only right. three to four million people, I think. Right, right. So yeah. that's why I'm, I started talking <coughs> with uh, the regulators mm. that uh, uh, so we should, uh, they, you, you guys should definitely take advantage of the new technologies okay. to create a new city infrastructure or the new design of the housing or the factory, even a factory or the industrial area or uh, the even the agriculture uh, production, fa right. food production system and so on. And uh, uh, there are some re existing regulations, but you should change like this and like that. Yeah. Then uh, you, you can be the, the ahead of the out at most of the advanced countries. <coughs> and uh, my uh, goal uh, is that uh, bring the, all the great startup technologies uh, uh, driven by the startups, innovative technologies driven by the startup to bring it there and uh, test it okay. and make it happen and uh, uh, bring the uh, governors or the government people of the US or Japan or other countries, hey, this is a new 21st century model. It's much efficient and much better of life of quality of life and uh, very happy and uh, uh, cost effective. Mm. So then uh, if they can clearly see what, what is happening and then, uh, oh, this is it. Uh, what, what you're saying is, is like that. And then they can <laughs> change the regulations very quickly. So maybe easier for other people to see once they see it happening in a small test right. environment. Right. <coughs> the, you know that all the startups will create a prototype mm. to so minimum viable products right. and uh, get funded by the investors. But, but startups are often pretty messy when they get started. Mm. Uh, is that something that can work OK for Singapore? Do you think they uh, are comfortable of course, with that? I just started very recently, so uh, that's in the, still in the beginning process. but. Uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. That I have a soul, spirit of the entrepreneurship. <laughs> so uh, even if it's very hard and if difficult to, to change, but I never give up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I notice your shirt is talking about <laughs> IPOs are so 2015. Yeah. That, um, this is a Thunder Beams uh, sure. cred, uh, credo, uh, the tagline that uh, the if the, the that. Fundabeam kind of the uh, platform uh, penetrate to the startup ecosystem. And then um, I think uh, the 
uh, it's totally democratized platform. So, uh, uh, you know, the traditional venture capital sets the seed stage, series A, series B, C, IPO, and right. they get the capital return, uh, capital gain uh, from the, 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 the uh, non-linear right. non non -linear variation curve, right? But uh, uh, if this kind of thing uh, uh, penetrates and works in real time, and then the variation of the market cap goes by linear. So more continuous, uh, continuous real time kind right. of trading. For so, in a sense, no IPO gap. Okay. So that's why they said that <laughs> okay. in 2015, IPOs are sold. So, what do you think is uh, different today in Japan versus maybe six, seven years ago? What things are now? Seems like things have changed and people are starting to explore startups more, maybe not so much traditional model. Yeah, um, <clears throat> the six or ten years ago, six years ago, even five years ago, uh, there are only small independent venture capitals and uh, very few uh, NGO investors. <coughs> so they, uh, the most of the venture capitals are driven by the banks or right. the financial institutions. So. Uh, they, uh, they watch the startup like a loan lending <laughs> or something like that. Isn't, isn't that difficult though? I mean, in Japan, there's still maybe not the same structure for personal bankruptcy that you have in other countries and might be yeah. tough for entrepreneurs if things don't, don't always work. So the, until the six or seven years ago, uh, they, if they invest into the startup company, they ask the entrepreneurs the covenants. Right. So that was a great, uh, Crazy. So that otherwise, they if they uh, the failure, they uh, fail the fail the startup. They they have to be bankrupt. bankrupt. Yeah, and they have to pay they off long time. Pay off long time. So that's terrible. So in these days, there's no such a covenant at all, and also uh, the volume of the investment of the the size of the investment, each investment is bigger and bigger in these days. So that uh, I read just last week, I read the article that the Japanese. 24 years old uh, startup, uh, founder is 24 years old, and a one and a half year uh, uh, old company mm. got funded uh, and they, get, they raised uh, 30 million US dollars wow. for the Series B. Okay. And the variation is uh, maybe tens of, uh, the om almost 100 million or something like that mm. for the one year, one and a half year old company. So I was so surprised in the wow that oh, time has come, like uh, Silicon Valley. Of course, the Silicon Valley is much further advanced <laughs> ahead, but uh, maybe or oh, ten years ago, the Silicon Valley is coming mm. to so Japan. Do you think there's other places than just Tokyo where people are starting to embrace technology? Uh, maybe in Osaka or Kobe or other places in Japan? Yes. Um, in that, in, in that aspect, uh, the Japanese government and the universities are uh, working very nicely because they, uh, the government has allocated uh, the, the some amount of money mm. for the universities to create the, the universe, uh, venture funds driven by the universities. Uh, so student-run venture capital? Yeah. So okay. For example, the Tokyo University has an Edge Capital mm. and the Kyoto University has a Miyako Capital. Okay. And, and there are so many other uh, venture capital driven by the universities popped up. And also the, uh, the researchers of the professors started uh, the adapting their techno research technologies to the commercial right. uh, services. So products. KO is a KO famous is university here that's also doing a lot of entrepreneurial right. support. Systems. Right. Yeah. I think so it's really exciting to see not just Tokyo but other places uh, exactly. Get off the ground, and you exactly. know, where, where do you see kind of uh, next horizon? Is there another place that we should be exploring next, or new types of technology you're interested in? Um, so, in that as, uh, context, um, the, uh, in my perspective, uh, the next step for the Japanese ecosystem is that connecting the international uh, right. relationship. <laughs> With the Silicon Valley, of course, and then other part of the United States and the Asian company, countries like uh, Korea, China, Southeast mm. Asia, and so yeah, on. A lot's been happening in Southeast Asia the last few years. It's yeah, it. exactly. So, um, <clears throat> um, actually, uh, the, those kind of people, uh, the Southeast Asian country people, 
love the technology of the Northeast Asian countries like uh, you, Japan, and Korea, and so on. Mm. But uh, so far, they have no, uh, no clue to meet up. <laughs> okay. So uh, I think that Slash works very well because Slash started in Shanghai last year. Right. And uh, from the first year, uh, the day, uh, more than 5,000 5, people get together. Wow. And also the Slash Singapore there. And also their tech in Asia. Uh, there are so many uh, tech conferences and events there. And also the Asian guys coming to Japan frequently, and Japanese, even the Japanese are coming to mm. those people. So they started connecting the dots. Got it. If you were a young person in Japan today, mm -hmm. uh, where would you go to learn about technology? Would you, you know, try and develop here in Japan? Would you go to Southeast Asia? Would you go to China? Would you go to US? Um, it depends on the technology and the verticals, but uh, for example, um, uh, mechanical things like uh, using the hardware, the robotics, and so on, mm. uh, or the automotive. Uh, Japan, uh, there, there are so many uh, good tradition of the culture right. and technology of the that part of the. A lot, lot of companies lot here of in Japan that yeah. produce automotive technology, right. parts and supply chain, and right. certainly robotics. Right. Definitely an area of expertise for Japan. So, for example, uh, the. Uh, even the any any Chinese companies uh, or the even the Southeast Asian companies can make EV uh, electric vehicle with a very reasonable price, but on the other hand, uh, Japanese automotive industry has a very good know-how about uh, thermal management. So you know that, that it's a moving moving vehicle. So uh, it, there are so many therm thermographic thermographical changes. So uh, the Japanese automotive company has a great know-how uh, in managing technology of the thermographical uh, technologies to 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 make lifelong uh, the the life life cycle of the each car longer. Uh -huh. So otherwise, it's broke very quick early uh, right. quickly. So uh, eventually, li lifetime cycle uh, of the the cost of the lifetime cycle is very important. Especially for the taxi or the bus, uh, and so on. So um, I'm sure that the, uh, instead of selling the products, hardware products, uh, one by one to the consumers, but uh, kind of the SaaS program, software as a service kind of things, right. will uh, become a very uh, popular for the business model wise. So maybe turning a more kind of discreet hardware production company right. into more continuous software. Right. Yeah. So company. lifetime, lifelong uh, cycle management is the key for mm. the service provision, right? So uh, in a sense, uh, the Japan has some Japanese people companies has some great know-how about it. So combining the the beauty of the Chinese manufacturing and Taiwanese manufacturing and also know-how of the, that kind of the long history know-how. Mm. The, then uh, I think some kind of a startup driven by the Asian people uh, will create amazing products or services. It sounds like we have a bright future ahead of us. So I uh, want to thank you for helping bring Slush to Tokyo and oh, bring technology uh, to Japan. Um, uh, you contribute a lot to the Slush community because from the first year, you came all the way from <laughs> all over the world, not from the US, all over the world. You had a permanent traveler, right? Uh, I've, I've spent a lot of time coming back and forth to Japan, mm -hmm. and my uh, wife and family are here. Yeah. But now really excited because James Reine and Yohei Sawayama are running yes. our fund here in Japan. Right. The Five and Start Japan is, has presence is really great in these days. Well, thank you. You've been right. a big help for us uh, getting off the ground here. That's my pleasure. Thanks for uh, spending some time with us in the audience today. I think we're going to go take some questions in the cafe now. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you.